Welcome to the evening psalm for Thursday the 7th of May. We've reached Psalm 51 um, and I'm now reading through uh, from By Stony Paths uh, which is a version of the Psalms 51 to 100 by Jim Cotter. He's entitled this one The Utter Mercy of God and the picture uh, from Sister Mary Stephen is that of longing and longing for that path, that road. The refrain is this, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Enfold me in your love, dear God, yet pierce my heart with your mercy. In the cascading of your compassion, scour away all that offends. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. My failures weigh heavy on my heart. My sin confronts me at the turning of the road. Against you alone have I sinned, my beloved, doing what is evil and causing more harm. In the eyes of my victims, your judgment is clear. There is nothing I can claim in your presence. I was formed in the midst of a world gone wrong. From the moment of my conceiving, I breathed my ancestors' sin. The truths to which I am blind are hidden so deep, so secretly. Bring the light of your wisdom to the depth of my heart. Bathe me in water that is fresh from the spring. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear of joy and gladness that the bones which you have broken may dance again. Turn your face from my twists and deceit. Blot out all my misdeeds. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the comfort of your help again and strengthen me with your courage and hope. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Then I shall teach your ways to those around me, and others will be converted to your path. Deliver us all from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, for you are the God of the world that is coming. In health and truth we shall sing of your justice. When you open my lips, O God, my mouth shall sing of your praises. You for you desire no animal sacrifices, no formal gifts out of mere duty. You do not delight in burnt offerings. Nothing from our wealth can buy your favour. The sacrifice you ask is a troubled spirit. It is my pride that must yield. My broken and contrite heart I bring, so foolish, self-centred and vain, and yet it is all that I have. Even this gift you will not despise, for I hear again that you yearn for me with a love that I can barely imagine. So do I give you the whole of myself, dependent as I am on the gift of your mercy. So may my giving to others be free of the motives of power, gifts that overwhelm or peace. May my heart be spontaneously giving, spreading delight and mutual embrace. Such is the way of the city of peace, whose walls you call us to build. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and remove, renew a right spirit within me. So let us pray. Take us to yourself, compassionate God, we who hurt so much in the depths of our being, caught up in the pain of life, and so often inflicting yet more on others. Embrace us with the hands that still show the marks of the nails, your love swallowing up all our sin and pride. So we pray that broken bones may, joy, may, may join in the dance of Jesus, our Redeemer. So may God grant you a quiet and restful night so that you might arise praising him with a right spirit. Amen.